the earlier videos we have discussed about Sommerfeld free electron model, the Lorenz Road model and today in this video we shall continue the series and we shall discuss about chronic penny model. So in the last video I have discussed about the Sommerfeld model where the free electron theory was assumed by the Sommerfeld but that was not true and some phenomena cannot be explained from that model and also realistically the if we think that the electrons are not assuming any potential from the ions I, I mean electrons are totally free inside a material inside a solid inside a crystalline solid that will be not true so the answer of this question that how the potential of the uh, crystal varies and how the elect behavior of the electronic wave function the wave function for an electron in a metallic medium under these circumstances what is the relationship between the energy and k what will be the wave function what will be the nature of the energy all we will discuss in the chronic pen model so friends watch this full video and understand the physics let's start so we have already told that what happens when the electron ion interaction it is more realistically approximated because we earlier we ignored the electron electron interaction we ignored the electron ion interaction but that is not realistic so we uh, here we discuss about the one dimensional chronic penny model so this is the a form of uh, form of potential that was assumed by chronic penny to uh, think uh, to make the electronic model or electron in ion interaction in a more realistic way inside a solid or inside a crystalline solid so suppose we take a simple example of the 3s band of a metallic sodium okay so we plot the psi of kx that is the wave function of the electron in the 3s band and versus uh, what will be the nature of this wave function roughly this will be like this way so we will find out this what is the relationship between this e and k that is what will be the dispersion relationship so dispersion relationship will give you the matter wave interaction so the electron as a wave it will be treated inside the medium and that will give you that interaction will be given by this ek relationship okay so first of all before understanding chronic penny principle we should know about any unifying principle for any kind of periodic potential so suppose u of x is periodic okay so the result what will be the uh, effect of the wave function or what will be the effect of the potential to a wave function when the potential is periodic so the resultant schrodinger equation belongs to a class of differential equation this is also known as hill's equation now this mathematicians have already shown that the solution to hill's equation they will obey the bloch theorem so psi also must obey the bloch theorem that is psi will take the form of psi of x must be equals to u of x e to the power iota k x where u k of x is some function that depends on the k and which must have also some period uh, periodicity and that periodicity same as the periodicity of the lattice and this u k of x is also known as bloch function so what is the meaning of that mathematical theorem bloch theorem means that no matter what the form of this poten periodic potential whether the periodic potential may be rectangular shape may be any other shape but the solutions must have certain properties that satisfy very general conditions now suppose this uk of x you consider it as a correction factor to generate the solution for this periodic potential that are starting from this e to the power iota k solution for a constant potential this uk x these are related to the atomic wave function and this k is that index that will distinguish between the various different solution that is u1x u2x u3x and so on 
So now if we assume the solution that is psi of x is of the Bloch function that is uk of x to the power iota kx and we put a periodic potential same as the periodicity of the lattice that is psi of x plus l should be equal to psi of x and you can write it in terms of uk as uk x plus l to the power iota k x plus l because the wave solution wave function solution should also repeat after the uh, na that is the uh, periodicity so we will get two conditions one is uk of x equals to uk of x plus l and another is e to the power iota k l equals to one now when this e to the power iota k l will be one so e to the power iota k l will be one only when k l equals to 2m pi where m is an integer so k will get take some discrete values like 2 pi into m by l or we can write it as 2 pi by a into small m by capital n so we write this wave function that is ux psi of x equals to uk of x to the power iota k x and we take these k values as discrete values starting from plus minus uh, 2 pi m by l where m can have values of 1 2 up to n not minus that is 2 pi m by l so m has the values from 1 to uh, 1 2 3 up to n values of integer discrete values so k has discrete values so whenever this k has discrete value we know that energy and k is related so k is discrete means the energy value will also be discrete okay so Friends, before going in further discussion, we have an announcement that we have started our test series program for the net physics examination. We have also started our interview guidance program for PhD physics and interview physics guidance. So you can join any of the program or both of the program with the minimum cost and the cost and all the details are mentioned in this um, the PPT and also you can contact here in this number for any clarification. So let's come back to the discussion. So now come to the chronic penny model. So what is chronic penny model? Chronic penny model is a strongly simplified one dimensional quantum mechanical model of a crystal. So despite of the simplification, the electronic band structure obtained from this model that share many features that they will give you some band structure the, that will also uh, be the result from many more sophisticated models. So although it is a simple model, but it can give many uh, explanation or physical features that can be explained from this model. Details of this chronic penny model is a single electron problem. Okay, means the electron moves in a one dimensional crystal of length L and the electron is inside a periodic potential uh, and this will electron will experience in uh, a periodic potential in the crystal lattice by this kind of potential approximation that whenever it is within this region zero to s there will be a potential in the form of v naught and whenever the electron will be in between this region that is minus uh, d to zero there will be no potential so this single electron problem is described by the schrodinger equation that is h psi equals to e psi so where with that uh, potential for some region one suppose this is a region one it will get v naught and for region two v naught will be zero so we can give write separately the Schrodinger equation as d2 psi dx2 plus 2m by h cross square e minus v0 psi equals to 0 for the region 1 and d2 psi dx2 plus 2m by h cross square e psi equals to 0 for the region 2. Now these are the two general solutions and for uh, the uh, to calculate the coefficients we have to determine the boundary conditions and we, we normalize the normalize the wave function also and apply the boundary condition also we get the solution of the form of Bloch theorem okay and as the periodic potential is periodic so we assume the solution of the form of Bloch function or Bloch potential now solve this after solving this you will get the final equation as f equals to cos ka 
for some parameter f suppose we are taking and we are finally left with this equation that that is cos k a equals to cos alpha d cos beta a is minus beta square plus alpha square by 2 alpha beta sin alpha d sin beta s i am not telling you individual steps these steps can be derived very easily from any book you can consult from any book okay so we are left with this kind of form now we have to understand after solving the schrodinger equation to we need to find the ek relation that is the dispersion relation so this equation will give us this ek relation and the related energies that is e and the indices k of the possible bloss function it will give now e is contained in this equation via this alpha and beta term okay so equation 10 has real solutions for k in this certain energy intervals when this value will be less than 1 so this solution correspond to wave like solution and if this f value that is mod of f is greater than 1 there will be no bloss function so this corresponds energy intervals are denoted or energy or band gaps so what is the meaning of that let us just see again suppose we have apply the general ideas of the chronic penny delta function model so we are taking this periodic potential and we are required this we are requiring this potential condition that is psi 1 x equals to psi 2 of x prime and also we are require uh, requiring this uh, one uh, the first derivative of the potential must be also continuous so d psi 1 dx should be equals to d psi 2 dx at x equals to la minus epsilon 2 la plus epsilon okay so we are getting this final expression which is also often called this energy functional and this alpha equals to root over twice me by h cross square and p equals to limit b tends to 0 u not at tends to infinite b u not me by h cross square so here p is the width of the barrier okay so when p is tends to 0 that is the free electron case and when p is tending to infinite that will be the bound electron case so what do you understand here if we plot this that is this equation the left with this we are so we are plotting this equation and the left hand side that is cos k so maximum or minimum value of cos k is plus minus 1 or plus 1 so the solution should be confined with plus 1 and minus 1 so all the values of this right hand side which are greater than plus 1 or which are beyond minus 1 that should be discarded so all these values that are lying within this condition they will be the allowed values and all these values which are lying beyond the allowed condition they will be not allowed values or they will be forbidden values of the energy so do you understand how is the energy ek diagram or energy relation is going to give you the forbidden energy values and the uh, allowed energy values this way you can find out the uh, equation and you, you can find out different energy levels so this equation shows the relation between the energy through this alpha and the wave vector k and we see this that left hand side of the equation can range from a value from minus 1 to plus 1 so there are some limits on the values that is uh, that on the alpha so it can take some ranges of the values of energy there is no solution according to this equation wh whenever there is no solution that is called the energy gaps and these are called the band gaps which can be shown to exist in any shape of periodic potential we have here taken only kind of delta potential but if this potential is not delta any kind of potential also we can show that there will be existing uh, solutions which are allowed which will be not allowed so thus the chronic penny model which is uh, uh, existing for any shape of periodic potential uh, uh, can be explained the periodicity of the crystal and this model is one of the simplest periodic potential to exhibit a band gap so here we once again we can 
uh, tell you that we are al already conducting the test series program, the interview guidance program to prepare you for the NET physics exam and for the PhD and integrated PhD interviews uh, or regularly discussion is going on. So you can easily join with the minimum cost. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.